right, people. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Um, it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm excited about it. <clears throat> I'm, my health is 100%. Still have a lingering bit of a cough, but have, being asthmatic my whole life, it's normal. Uh, Tommy still feels like garbage. His head is clogged up on one side. He's having trouble hearing out of one ear. and He's, you know, he's almost over it. Anyhow, I got a great, le you know, I've eaten thousands of peppers on this channel, and I got a great letter today. Got it last night, actually. Uh, it's from Homer. Love the name, Homer. So it says, Dear Johnny, first of all, I've been on the bus for over six years. So thank you so much for six years of supporting this. Um, I won't say I've seen all your videos, but I don't miss many. I've been stuck on jalapeno since I got on the bus. Do not feel bad, man. Seriously. I've heard you say thousands of times for a non chili head, the heat would be blah. Could you make a video showing how a non chili head would responsibly sample a super hot? I know that would be helpful for me. I bet it would be helpful for many others as well. Thank you, Homer. P.S. What's your favorite song to play on guitar? All right. I don't know about the guitar. I'll have to think about it. I'll have an answer for the guitar thing, hopefully, by the time this video is over. But what a. A great idea. I can't believe I never thought of this. So thank you, Homer. There has got to be legions of people who this video speaks to. Because if you're stuck on a smaller pepper, and I say for, for a, a non-chili head or for some of the lower e-tarts, um, you don't want to eat the whole pepper, but you think, I know that makes people think. So I thought today... After reading that uh, email last night, and it came in really late. I didn't ask Homer where he was, but man, that was late. I'm going to show you how to eat a responsible, uh, eat a super hot responsibly. This is a chocolate bootla that was grown by Lone Star Master Farms. It is a wicked hot pepper, um, and there, you know, for a non-chili head, it would be a problem. But there is a way for a non-chili head to eat this pepper, and I'm going to show you now. Thank you for the prodding and the uh, inspiration from Homer. So I think that's fantastic. So that's what we're going to do right now. <clears throat> and the reason behind this is this. If you're a brand new Chilean, if you're like, let's say I'm going to use Homer because Homer wrote the email. Homer is a guy who likes uh, jalapenos, been eating them for a long time. Um, this would be too much for him. This would be too much for him. So if he were to pop the whole thing in his mouth, number one, he really wouldn't taste anything. It would be a traumatic experience. It would be hard. So, um, but there is a way for someone like Homer to eat this or at least sample it in such a way that you're not going to hurt yourself. And it'll still give you an idea of the flavor of the pepper and of the heat. So we're going to do that right now. And honestly, what a great idea. And I, I feel terrible that eight years have gone by and I haven't thought of that. Here is the pepper. If you look right there, I cut a little flap off the top of that. That is the little flap of, of pepper I'm gonna cut. That I'm gonna eat, okay? That teeny little piece right here. All right, it's just a teeny little piece of pepper, but it's gonna give me an idea of how the pepper tastes what the heat is like, but without having to jump in with a full bore commitment. So here you go, Homer, this is for you and this is for all the other chili heads, new chili heads that this makes sense to. Forgive me for taking so long to do this one. Here we go. I'm Johnny Scoville, a newbie, and this is JC. Because here's the truth of it, as a chili head, I can tell you <clears throat> that just sampling it like this absolutely tells you what the pepper tastes like. Now, the, the fact is, it's only going to tell you what the pepper tastes like at the very, very end of the pepper because the base of the pepper where the placenta is is going to have a bit of a different taste. But that pepper um, was earthy as can be. It was smoky. There was no sweetness. It was... Um, I couldn't pick up any floral notes in that little sample, and I can promise you if I ate the whole pot, I would have. So it's not a 100% indication of what the pepper tastes like, but it's pretty close. 
and I can taste the heat in that. So that you know, and if 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 you do this, let's say that Homer does this, and the the slice he made was 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 too conservative. You can always cut a little bit more and eat more, um, but that that's the way to do it. And the great thing about that, and honestly, Homer, that's just a fantastic idea that you, you suggested. Um, in doing it that way, you can take a, and I'll tell you, you could, you guys ever watch Goodfellas? Remember the system he had when he would cut the garlic in the joint so thin with a razor blade that when you put it in the pan, it would just, you know, just evaporate and become part of the, the that's what happens. Same thing, you see how, you can, how slice, he th sliced it so thinly? I could slice little teeny slivers like that until you got to the point where you're like, okay, anymore and I'm gonna have a problem. You can really control how much heat you're taking in, all right? And that is a great responsible way for someone to sample a pod. Now, if you wanted to, this is just kind of giving an example. If you wanted to, whoops. If you want to, you could cut the pod in half and you could sample something. You could cut a slice, a little bit of a ring from the center of the pod. The truth is actually that if you did it that way, if you cut the pod in half, and instead of taking your sliver from the very, very end of the pepper, you took a small little cross section from the middle, that would probably give you a better indication of the actual flavor of the pod because you'd be getting some of the the placenta in the fla in the sample as well. Um, but it's it, and it's going to give you an idea of the heat. It won't be the full thing but if you're a brand new chili head it'll give you a chance to dabble into the hotter peppers without killing yourself there is a way to do it okay so i hope that was helpful now if you're a brand new chili head and you're eating something really hot like a super hot you still want to make sure you've prepped adequately okay because if you have it you could take on some you know it's a bummer. If you've eaten too much, you know, a lot of chili heads, even, you know, the funny thing is, even a lot of non-experienced chili heads still have experienced this. And I have encountered, I have encountered one chili head who never had, who was a hardcore chili head. You eat too much and it goes right to your stomach. Um, new chili heads often have experienced that. And that's what gives them that, hey, I don't want to do that again sort of feel. Um, you've gone out, you're eating chicken wings with friends and eat one. They're like, wow, I can't believe you eat that. You're like, oh, it's nothing. The next thing you know, you've eaten five of them. Two hours later, they come back and visit you again because that's what they do. Um, we've all had that experience. So go slow. You can always eat more, right? You can always eat more of the pepper if you haven't got to where you want to get to. But once you have eaten too much, you're committed. All your chips are in the middle. You're in for the ride. That's how it works. So, but I hope that was helpful. Homer, thank you for the uh, the email. If you guys have an email that you want me to cover or something like that, it was a great email. And honest to goodness, I am embarrassed that eight years, 6,000, almost 6,400 videos have gone by before I had the, and that, it wasn't even for me. It was from Homer. I should have made this video a very, very long time ago. So this video is really absolutely aimed for the brand new chili head. So if you think about it like this, you know, how many chili heads out there, brand new chili heads or new, you know, like newly started chili heads have failed to pull the trigger buying a, a box of pods from like Lone Star Mastiff Farms, Jacob Deathridge, Thomas Spillane, you know, um, Death, uh, L L Linda's Fire Treats, Broom, or any of these other growers. You're like, ah, I was gonna, but I decided to hold off. You can get the whole box of pods and sample every single super hot there is if you do it the way I just showed you. And the beautiful thing about that is you will start tasting different pods and it's fantastic. So, wow, I'm embarrassed that all this time. How many videos are there just for rec for grins? Let me see. I really should have made this video such a long time ago. I'm sorry. 
Homer, and everybody else who f would have benefited from that. Let me see. I'm going to tell you how many. Jeez, the eight. Squirrels hanging on the, wind, the wall, the frame of the. She's hanging on the glass. All right, give me just a second here. All right, so the channel has 6,395 videos. And I finally get around to this one for you. Man, oh man. That means there are people, now that you know that, when this next pod season, I'm sorry I didn't do it at the beginning of this last one, but this next pod season, Hear all about it. You can, Homer, you can buy a box of pods and sample every single super hot the way I just showed you. Never really get hurt. Raise your tolerance in the process because even though you're not eating the full pepper, it's hotter than the stuff you've been eating and it'll slowly build, start in, in increasing your tolerance. We'll get there together. But what a fantastic uh, email, Homer. I'm really, really glad you sent it. I'm really glad I read it late last night. Get some sleep, man. Where are you from, by the way? That was a late email. Um, anyway, thank you guys for joining. Um, it, it, here's what you can do. You want now that you know how you can go accurately, you know, go out there and do that and sample it in a thoughtful, careful, responsible way. What is the next pepper you're going to eat? I want to know. And what you can do is each time you sample it, you can just sample a little bit, a few more thin slivers. You can eat a little bit more, and it's a very, 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 very uh, purposeful way to increase your tolerance. You know what I mean? Brilliant. So thank you, Homer, for that great email. If, you, if you're if watching and you have a question, if you're a newer Chilean, you know, here's the truth of it. I wish I had thought of that 6,395 videos ago. The, the only silly question is the one you don't ask. It's kind of true, you know? So if you've got a question about being a chili head, the process, what you should do, or, you, you know, drop me an email at chasetheheat at gmail.com. And I would be absolutely more than happy to, uh, to answer your questions for you. I didn't. Here's the thumbnail, because I forgot to. How about that? You think anyone will know that it's already been hacked up? Is that your thumbnail? I don't know. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Be kind to somebody today. It's a beautiful day here. I hope it's a beautiful day where you are. Tell somebody you love them. Okay? I'll be back on today at 5.05 p.m. We may do After the Burn with David Foy. I'm not positive, but I think we might. Stay tuned. If we don't, we'll do it Wednesday. But... I believe tonight at 7 p.m. I'm not sure if Tommy will be hosting the uh, the lifeboat. If he's not, I'll be pinch hitting for him again. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. Honestly, I appreciate you guys. In the description box, you'll see all the normal stuff. These pods, once again, were the pod I ate today was grown by Lone Star Mastiff Farms. Great growers of peppers, and they grow dogs that you could put a saddle on and probably ride around if you felt like it. Big, giant Mastiff dogs. They're wonderful. They care about their animals. They're really good people. So please check out Lone Star Mastiff Farms in the description box. Other than that, have a great day. Be kind to somebody. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.